Our research focuses on three crops, peas, lentils, and chickpeas. We're the primary public breeding uh, program for these three pulse crops. Chickpeas are probably uh, the highest demand of these crops domestically at the moment. Our interests, of course, are yield, seed quality, disease resistance, and trying to get a little bit of early maturity because of those three crops, chickpeas are the ones that are most susceptible to cold weather. The Palouse is the preeminent region in the United States for growing chickpeas. We have the right soil conditions for them. Um, it's terrific, our dry land agriculture. Um, we get enough moisture to grow them. So a, a challenge for us is to try to make the chickpeas a bit earlier because even though we say Pullman is about the most north, we can grow chickpeas. Very often, we're waiting into October where spring rains may come. The chickpeas provide nitrogen to the soil, and as the price of fertilizer becomes more and more, approaching almost $1,000 a ton, there's a great interest in using pulse crops not so much for their grains per se, but rather for their ability to contribute nitrogen to subsequent wheat or barley crops. The biggest priority of all, besides agronomic traits, such as yield and height of the plant and early maturity, is resistance to one disease in particular called ascochyta blight. My colleague, Dr. Wei Dung Chen, is the preeminent researcher, I would say globally, on ascochyta blight of chickpea. The biggest goal to me is to produce um, high yielding chickpeas that have desirable market characteristics so that growers can realize a good profit for their efforts. Chickpeas are, are certainly predominantly hummus um, and also large canned chickpeas are used whole in salads. Although I work for the ARS, the USDA, all of us in my program are adjunct faculty in either plant pathology or crop science. Washington State University, USDA ARS partnership, this is one of the highlights, I would say, of the university federal science um, interactions.